This video is sponsored by Squarespace. How's it going guys? Vincent here from thecreativedojo.net. Welcome to the show where I talk about all things motion design, visual effects, news in the industry in the past few months. There's been a lot going on in the past few months, so let's go and get started. So the first big set of news is that the company Metal, the developers behind Freeform Pro, Shapeshifter, and the Skybox Suite, uh, actually Adobe acquired their uh, Skybox Suite from them. So the CEO of Metal, Chris, um, great guy. Uh, we've worked with Chris for a lot of stuff, promoting their stuff. Um, but he's actually joining Adobe, and Adobe actually bought the rights to uh, Metal Skybox. So the Skybox will hopefully be incorporated into After Effects Premiere in the near future, you know. So they're actually upping the, uh, the VR and Adobe After Effects Premiere and stuff like that. So hopefully we'll see uh, Skybox kind of incorporated into uh, After Effects and Premiere so we can get some more VR support for uh, stuff like that in our editing suite in the Creative Cloud. So this is really great news. Um, the whole metal company isn't being bought out by Adobe. It's just the Skybox suite. And, uh, and his wife is actually gonna be uh, the new CEO of Metal. So Metal will still exist and their plugins will still be there. Um, they're just uh, merging kind of the, the VR aspect of Metal into Adobe. So this is really great news, awesome stuff. More information down below. So I know you guys like free stuff and there's been a lot of free stuff coming out lately that I wanna share with you guys today. The first is that the HitFilm Ignite Express bundle is actually out for free for you guys. So basically, if you're not familiar, um, HitFilm is a really awesome free editor that you guys can use. Um, really, really powerful, Hi highly recommend it. But they've actually released 90, over 90 plugins for you guys to use from their HitFilm in your own editor. So for example, if you use Final Cut or if you use Avid or if you use Motion or After Effects or Premiere or whatever you use, um, they've actually released some of their, their HitFilm plugins for your editor of choice, absolutely free. So you can download it. There's a lot of cool alternatives in there. For example, if you've heard of Real Smart Motion Blur, they have kind of like an alternative for that, it's free. Also a depth of field, you know, depth pass kind of plugin, uh, camera out of focus blurring. Uh, I guess a free alternative to Frisch Lift uh, Lens Care Blur. Um, so a lot of really cool stuff there, lightsaber effects, aspect ratios, grains, color grading, even keying stuff. Um, so again, these are completely free plugins from HitFilm to you guys for your editor of choice. So if you don't use HitFilm, um, this would be a good time to kind of just grab their plugins and use it in your editors of choice. Absolutely free, so there's no reason for you not to do it. And in my opinion, they're pretty fast and uh, give it a shot. The next semi-free product is Ouroboros. Um, this is actually version two. The first one was more of a preset. Basically it allows you to control, really fine tune and really tweak and control um, strokes within shape layers and stuff like that. Very, very beautiful. Um, the guy makes really amazing animations, really amazing tools. He's the creator of Ray Dynamic Color and Ray Dynamic Texture. And so it was originally a preset file with a ton of expressions and um, he's partnered up with the author of Expressionist to create Ars Burroughs 2, which is now a new script. So things are a lot more optimized. There's a lot of new features, really cool stuff. It's a name your own price script, so donate whatever you want. And I think it's a very, very useful tool in your asset, especially for the name your own price platform. So check it out, Ars Burroughs 2 over at aescripts.com. The next freebie is actually a burn mark texture kit over by the folks over at Action VFX. Those guys are amazing over there. They create some awesome stock footage for you know explosions, fires, smoke, sparks, all that stuff. Um, they're actually running by a good friend of mine who we've worked with in the past um, with stuff like Lens FX Prism and stuff like that. So really great guys over there. They're giving out a pack of free burn mark textures. So if you're working on an action film, explosions, stuff like that, go ahead and grab their stuff over there. That's have a lot of other freebies like blood mist and stuff like that. So if you're really into the Freddy Wong corridor digital kind of blood explosion, um, they have that stuff for free as well. So check it out over at actionvfx.com. So before we move on to some pretty cool stuff that I've been watching and learning, I want to go ahead and give a quick shout out to our sponsors over at Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is the only one platform to make beautiful creative websites, whether it's for your business, online store, portfolio. They have tons of themes to choose from, fully customizable. The best part is you don't need to know any coding to get started. You can actually manipulate the website just the way you want it and make it look just the way you like it to look. They have amazing customer support. And best of all, you can actually save 10% off your order by using the promo code DOJO at checkout and supporting the show. So check it out over at squarespace.com slash dojo. Squarespace, the number one place to create an awesome website. So back to some pretty cool stuff that I've been watching and learning the past few weeks and months. Um, this involves Cinema 4D. I've been watching a series called The Perceptions Guide to FUI. So basically the designers uh, kind of show you how they create their uh, futuristic UI animation, stuff like that, and their process, their techniques, and really break down step-by-step step on how to create really cool, interesting uh, interface elements and stuff like that in Cinema 4D and After Effects, kind of just comp it together, make it look nice. It's completely free. 
So check it out if you're kind of interested in kind of doing that futuristic UI stuff and just uh, UI in general. Really, really amazing free content here. Another really cool resource that I've been looking at is Brent Morris's uh, 2017 NAB Rewind video on how he created the Cineversity indent. So he created this really nice indent for Cineversity and basically he kind of goes through the process of how he creates certain elements and his workflow and his tips on how to create something like this. It's a really, really great way to see, you know, professionals doing their work and seeing how they work and how they, they animate stuff and their process and their thought process behind creating an actual project uh, from start to finish kind of carrying the elements here. So pretty cool stuff. Check it out over at Cineversity. I've also been reading an article over at FX Guide. They're the company or sister company behind uh, FX PhD who create really awesome visual effects, motion design courses. Um, if you're interested in a lot of visual effects stuff like Nuke and Maya and you know all those really advanced stuff in visual effects, go and check out FX PhD. They create a lot of awesome courses, very, very in-depth by industry professionals who've worked on Hollywood films on some visual effects stuff. I'm more of a motion design kind of guy, so I you know kind of lean towards away from that kind of stuff. Uh, but check out FX PhD. But uh, FX Guide is like their magazine sister company, and they have a really great article over a short film by Pixar called Piper. I believe it was shown before Finding Dory, um, but basically it was a very, very beautiful, you know, a lot of bokeh, a lot of scan animations going on. Very, very cute, very, very beautiful, visually stunning animation by Pixar. They have a nice, very exclusive breakdown over how they kind of approached it, the technology used behind the sand grains and stuff like that in the detail. And you know, if you're really interested in animation, especially Pixar stuff, this is a really great article to read about how they did that and their process behind that. So pretty cool article. Check it out over at FX Guide. Again, all the links I mentioned will be in the video description down below. Lastly, there has been a new After Effects update, uh, the July 2017 update. Nothing, nothing huge, really just bug fixes. But the one thing you need to know is that they finally uh, kind of converted the rounded new buttons in Adobe CC 2017 to the more legacy um, square buttons. So instead of seeing those nice uh, round outline buttons that kind of annoyed a lot of people, uh, they have switched back to the normal gray rectangular box buttons for scripts. So if your scripts look ugly, try updating so you don't have to use legacy mode anymore. But that's pretty much it guys. That's all the recent news going on, I think, in After Effects, Cinema 4D, in the industry in general. So. That's pretty much it. Again, all the links will be in the video description down below. My name is Vincent Wynn from the Creative Dojo. Sorry for talking so fast, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.